parents of two sisters hit and kill while playing in a leaf pile in front of their Forest Grove home are fighting to change Oregon's hit and run law. Now, as we've told you, that driver was convicted in the case, but was overturned in what lawmakers call a loophole in the law. Our Amy Frazier is live in Salem, where the girl's parents testified at a legislative hearing. Amy? Jennifer, it was a very emotional hearing here at the Capitol today. The parents say changing the law won't bring their girls back, but they do hope it will help make a difference for other families. Now, mother Susan Dieter Robinson went before lawmakers today in support of what's being called Anna and Abigail's law. Representative Barker Olson introduced House Bill 4055 in response to a recent ruling by the Oregon Court of Appeals. That ruling through Throughout the conviction against Cynthia Garcia Cisneros. In 2014, she was sentenced to probation and community service for failing to perform the duties of a driver. In October of 2013, 11 year old Abigail and six year old Anna were playing in the leaves when they were hit and killed. According to court records, the driver felt a bump and continued driving home. Well, a short time later, her brother told her someone had been hit. Still, she didn't re return turn to the scene of the accident or call police. According to the appeals court, the current law doesn't require a driver to return to the scene of an accident if they find out they've hit or killed someone after they've already left. House Bill 4055 would change that. I still forgive her. We still forgive her. Yeah, we believe in forgiveness, yeah. but we also believe in accountability. Right. And we're now we're looking towards the future. Because we won't be the only family that has to deal with something like this. Now, there was also some testimony today from the Criminal Defense Lawyers Association raising some concerns about the Fifth Amendment as well as some of the language in the bill. We will continue to track this bill and let you know how it progresses. Reporting live in Salem, Amy Frazier, Point Six News. I sure admire the family's strength. Thank you, Amy.